A car bomb explodes close to the office of a newspaper. An attack carried out by Boko Haram. The militant group has become increasingly deadly, claiming more than 2,000 lives in three years. The Nigerian government had been trying to negotiate with the group, but they have now lost patience and declared Boko Haram a banned terrorist organization, alongside its suspected offshoot, Ansaru. The move is unlikely to intimidate this man. Abu Bakr Shakao is Boko Haram's leader. By the grace of Allah, we will never abandon this jihad until death. Our goal in this jihad is the establishment of an Islamic state or martyrdom. He is now Nigeria's most wanted man after the U.S. put a $7 million bounty on his head for his capture, a move Nigerians have welcomed. This so-called Boko Haram and other terrorists, they have done a lot of damage in Nigeria. They have taken many souls. Some people, it's just an entire family that they wiped off at once. Then some, maybe little children, they will kill the parents. The children will become an orphan overnight. But there are questions over how effective this ban will be. The group has gathered sophisticated arms and moves over neighboring borders easily. And there's also the humanitarian situation here in the north. This part of Nigeria is poor and has come under attack from Nigerian forces and armed militants. Some might wonder if lasting development and jobs might be a more effective tool against the terrorists. Alba Patel, BBC News.